Some tips for Ulm. Even from afar, the Ulm Cathedral determines the skyline of the city, but also the Schapfenmull Tower, the Ulm City Hall and the Metzgerturm, Butcher's Tower, are among the most important buildings of the city. Whether strolling along Hirschstrasse, a relaxing walk along the city wall or a boat trip on the Danube, Ulm has much to offer its guests. Ulm Cathedral. In the first place of the sites is, of course, the Ulm Cathedral. Construction of the cathedral began as early as 1377, but it was not until 1890 that the building was finally completed. The 161.53 meters high church tower has now been shaping the region for many centuries and is also the highest church tower in the world. It is an unbelievable 768 steps to the viewing platform at a height of 143 meters, but once you have made the climb, you will be rewarded with a great view. With a good distant view, you can even see the Alps from here. The cathedral itself can look back on several famous master builders and a construction period of over 500 years. The interior is also impressive with its 41.60 meters high central nave and a length of about 120 meters. The construction was financed exclusively by the citizens of the city and not by ecclesiastical or secular authorities. Ulm Cathedral is not only one of the largest Gothic buildings in southern Germany, it is also a very lively church to this day, with more than 1,000 church services, guided tours and musical events a year. Fishermen's and Tanner's Quarter The idyllic old town, however, is dominated by the Fishermen's and Tanner's Quarter. Countless small alleys, half-timbered houses and small bridges are typical of Ulm's most important old town ensemble. In addition to many historic buildings, there is also the world's crookedest hotel and the Ulmer Munz, as well as the Tanner's House and the Lochmull. The former craftsman's quarter at the mouth of the River Blau and site of the Illa Rafting is now a popular destination with countless restaurants, pubs and small galleries. The Fisherman's and Tanner's Quarter is also sought after as a quiet residential area close to the city center. With the Sebastian Chapel, the Seal Term and the Ulm City Wall, there are many other places and buildings worth seeing here. Whether it is Ulm's Town Hall with its striking facade painting or the Schwarhaus and today's city archive, a day in the city on the Danube has a lot of interesting things to offer. Boat Tours on the Danube One of the highlights of a visit to Ulm is certainly a boat tour on the Danube. Visitors and locals can explore the city from the water on the historic boat, Ulma Spatz. The trip takes about an hour and goes along the Danube via Friedrichsau and Metzgerturm. The special feature of the excursion boat, Ulmer Spatz, Ulm Sparrow, is also the cooperation of people with and without disabilities both in the restoration and in the daily operation. Art and Culture Whether Ulmer Culture Night, the smallest theater or the Weishaupt Art Hall, here lovers of art and culture also get their money's worth. For example, the smallest theater in Der Western Tasche, theater in the vest pocket, with just 40 seats delights its visitors with exotic, but also experimental and innovative performances. The largest cultural tent festival, Ulmer Zelt, takes place annually from mid-May to early July and offers international top acts as well as events for children, cabaret and music events. Several museums and the Weishaupt Art Gallery invite visitors from all over the world to marvel and experience. With the sculpture of Nicky de Saint Valley, the city possesses important works of contemporary artists on the sculpture path on the Ober Esselsberg and has also been awarded the rank of an outstanding exhibition venue for this. With the Bread Museum, the Danube Swabian Central Museum and the Natural History Collections, all those visitors interested in the history of the city and topics such as botany, zoology or ecology are also addressed. For sports enthusiasts. Sports enthusiasts will find countless opportunities in Ulm to engage in sports themselves or to experience great sporting events live. Whether tennis, rowing or American football, the city on the Danube also has a lot to offer in this area. Fun and action are not only offered by the Danube Pool with its wave pool, current channel and slide facility, but also by the Dav Kletterwelt, World of Climbing, Neu Ulm with a climbing height of 17 meters and a total climbing area of 2,900 sqm, which cordially invites sports enthusiasts. A large network of long-distance bike paths also brings cyclists to the city. Along the Danube Lake Constance cycle path, the route leads all the way to Lake Constance. Sports enthusiasts also get their money's worth during canoe trips on the Danube or at the annual Einstein Marathon in September. The first trampoline hall is the Extreme Jump Ulm with a total of 52 trampolines. Culinary Delights Ulm specialties cannot be missing during a visit to the city, of course. 
Culinary dishes from the Swabian cuisine such as cheesy spätzle and sour lentils are as much a part of it as typical delicacies. What could be better than exploring a city in culinary terms as well? Many small cafes make it easy to enjoy Ulm specialties over a good cup of coffee. The fine chocolate donuts, Ulmer Gulden, are just as much a part of this as the pralines of the Munster Spitzer, Minster Tip, and Ulmer Spatzen. Home-brewed beer and specialties from the region, on the other hand, are served at the Historisches Brauhaus Historical Brewery. Especially the beer garden is a popular place in the warm season to enjoy a home-brewed beer or a glass of wine from the region in the shade of old trees. Parks and Gardens Situated directly on the Danube, Friedrichsau is probably the city's most beautiful recreational area. Passenger ships also dock here and the Friedrichsau is also easy to reach by bus and train. About 30 minutes on foot from the city center, you can reach this largest recreational area in Ulm via paths along the banks. With several social gardens, a fairground and the zoo, there is something for practically everyone here. The Friedrichsau takes its name from the former elector Friedrich I, who was appointed by Napoleon to King of Württemberg and donated 2,000 gulden for a new recreation area. Once the various O societies were established there, today various public festivals take place in the Friedrichsau and in addition the large park has several restaurants and beer gardens. With the botanical garden and the attached medicinal herb garden of the company, Ratio Farm, as well as the scent and touch garden, the city also has other green oases. Trips to the surrounding area. Ulm itself is perfectly suited as a starting point for great excursions into the surrounding area. From here, you can discover the upper Swabian Baroque Road and the nearby Legoland in Gunsberg, as well as the Swabian Alb Geopark. About half an hour's drive from the town is Germany's second most water-rich cast spring. The Azure Blue has given the Blautoff, Blue Pot, its name and is intensified even more depending on the sunlight. This is also the source of the Blau River, which flows back into the Danube in Ulm. Directly at the Blautoff is the monastery Blaubüren and also a small cafe invites to coffee and cake. The Blautopf Bahnlei, a small train, then takes you on a round trip through Blaubüren and the Reed Landscape Conservation Area. Tips for music lovers. Whether concerts in Ulm Cathedral, State Trombone Day or Opera Open Air, the city also has a lot to offer for music lovers. In particular, the Ulm, Neu Ulm Culture Night with an impressive program of many artists from the region sets very special highlights. Fascinating performances in museums, live clubs and theatres promise an eventful time at sometimes extraordinary locations. The offerings range from classical music and opera to dance, theater, literature and painting. The city on the Danube is full of experiences, interesting and always worth a trip in many respects. Whether it's the most crooked hotel, the highest church tower, the oldest municipal theater or Europe's largest hairdressing museum, Ulm is simply ingenious in every respect.